and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. If you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button. We do movie reviews here, monthly wrap up tier list. And uh, like today's video, we're gonna be talking award shows. Award season is upon us. This video is gonna be a little bit different because the Globes are doing things a little differently this year. I'm also very late in doing this video. Um, so usually we get a prediction video, you know, like who I think is gonna win, who might win. And then we have our reaction video with the winners. Well, uh, this year there's actually not going to be a ceremony. So I'm not exactly sure when or how the winner's stuff is going to be announced. So I'm not exactly sure when this video is going to be coming out. Um, literally the award show is tonight. It's a few hours away. So I'm just going to do like a two for one video. We're going to be doing the prediction and the winner announcement here in this video. In case you did not catch my last video where I kind of give you guys an update on what's to come in 2022 for my uh, channel, I am going to try to focus a little bit more on uh, TV series rather than um, re reviews. We're still going to get those but not as many as we've been getting within the last like two years. Uh, just because I've been slacking on TV shows. There's so many great ones and whenever we do come to award season I would like to be able to officially just you know talk about some shows. Let me put my old holes on so I can see and um, you just gotta do, do with the ring light per usual. I will just kind of go with two categories in TV shows. Best Actress Television Motion Picture. I did watch WandaVision. I did catch all of the well all except not doing the winter soldier one but all the marvel like phase four deals i've seen all of them one division by far was my favorite one so i personally would like elizabeth olsen to win but i've been hearing a lot of good talk about kate winslet um also that show that marvel east um east town so um i'm gonna say that she will probably be the winner here and then lastly, best uh, musical comedy series. Absolutely my favorite series from last year was Only Murders in the Building. I absolutely love that show. I'm so excited that it got uh, reviewed for a second season. I have not seen any of these other shows. I have heard great things about Ted Lasso, so that's one that I'm going to be checking out um, here soon. Let's go on. Let me let me work my way backwards. Best song, Motion Picture. I would love a couple to win, but honestly... That song is beautiful, but it's not the most popular one. Of course, everybody's talking about Don't Talk About Bruno. My personal favorite is um, Luisa's song. I think that one is great, but I don't think it's going to win. I think it might end up being um, Be Alive with King Richard. No, I'm going to go for No Time to Die. I feel like that one is a good choice, and I feel like that's going to win as well. But we shall see. Best score motion picture. There's like no... No question about it, it's going to be Hans Zimmer. That uh, score for Dune was absolutely amazing. Uh, for foreign language, I haven't seen any of these movies. Um, I really need to up my game also on foreign language. But I have heard great, great things about Drive My Car. So that's why I think it's going to win. That's what I'm going to choose um, for it as well. I heard it's very, very long and very like dialogue heavy. So if y'all seen that movie, let me know. Um, I don't mind those type of movies as long as it's like good. Best Picture Animated. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I'm so mad at them. They didn't nominate The Mitchells vs. The Machines. How dare they? That's like the best freaking movie of the year. In case you didn't see my best movies of the year. That was my favorite. So, I mad at them because they did include Encanto. As you can see, I love that movie. I've seen it already like four times. Desiree, Desiree's watching it again right now. Tell me how many times she's probably watched it today. She's probably her second time. She watches it at least twice a day, you guys. Like, I have been hearing some good things about Flea and Luca was up there, but honestly, I'm gonna say it's gonna be Encanto. I really think it's gonna be Encanto. Like, winning my prediction and everything. So, best screenplay motion picture. I've heard great things about Licorice Pizza, but I really don't feel right saying that's gonna win when I haven't seen the movie. Um, I've seen all the other movies, uh, all the other ones on here, so don't look up, very divisive, people hate it, people love it, um, I was neither here or there, but I really think it's gonna come down to Licorice Pizza, Belfast, and possibly The Power of the Dog, to be honest with you. I'm gonna say Belfast, my pick, and then I'm gonna say Licorice Pizza, my win, but could also be Belfast, but could be Power of the Dog. Can I put my toe 
token on all three had all three of these um i'm gonna put them like right in the middle <laughs> like counting it's like i wasn't like fully there you guys oh my hair's attacking my hair my nails attacking my hair they might go for the power of the dog i wasn't really like fully here for the power of the dog but oh, i'm gonna put i'm gonna say both hats for my pick but what will they pick? They could very well pick Belfast. You know what? We're going to keep it at Belfast all the way through. We're going to go up there. We're just going to go. Okay. Best director, motion picture. We Again, I think it's going to go Belfast, Power of the Dog, uh, West Side Story also. Dune was great. But I'm going to choose. Uh, I'm going to go back with Belfast. Oh, no. West Side Story. Damn it. I don't know. I'm going to go Kenneth. We'll win again for Belfast here. And for best director, I think they may choose steven spielberg because it's steven spielberg and he did amazing with west side story because it, it was a really really good movie but it could also be kenneth and it could also be jane it could be any of these they could be like all kinds of crazy like what they did last year with uh, what's her face from a uh, maturing candidate best supporting actor motion picture i absolutely love coda one of my favorite movies of the year that's who i'm gonna put i buy all my tokens on him i all of them because he did amazing if you have not seen coda i highly highly recommend for you to check out that movie I'm sure you have your kleenex it's a beautiful beautiful movie i loved it and he did amazing in it and he's not relatively like fully known so he's like new so he very well could win um Cody Smith for the power of the dog he did okay you know he was all right uh, but could also be Mr. Hines I'm not even gonna pronounce his last name first name I mean uh, I don't know about Jamie uh you know what we're gonna put it all the way around for Troy yes I hope I really hope he wins because he was amazing uh, next is best supporting actress in a motion picture I'm gonna put all my chips like I did with Troy here Ariana DeBose I feel like that's gonna win that's who deserves to win. She did amazing in West Side Story. If she doesn't take it, I think maybe Katrina from Belfast could take it. Best actor in a motion picture musical comedy. Again, I feel like Andrew Garfield's gonna win. I'm gonna put my token on his beautiful face there as well. I'd be shocked if it's not him, to be honest with you. So best actor motion picture drama. This honestly is kind of like a Cumberbatch versus Smith competition like that's who's gonna come down to i'm gonna say will smith is going to win like my pick sorry my pick he could win i feel like they're gonna give it to cumberbatch though okay we're gonna go two and one i'm choosing will smith and i think benedict cumberbatch will win yeah i'm gonna go there i'm not like 100 on that though it could be Will Smith regardless. Best actress in a motion picture drama. Kristen Stewart has been the talks like since that movie came out because she really does transform into Di Princess Diana. She did absolutely wonderful. Uh, but then, but then one Jessica Chastain in the eyes of Tammy Faye, you guys, have y'all seen that movie? Because that movie is good. Like, good, good. Like, she does amazing transforming into Tammy Faye, like, whoa and then there's nicole kidman you know she's freaking nicole kidman uh people love her and so she very well could come in and steal it with her i love lucy deal but honestly from all of them i personally prefer jessica chastain that's who i'm putting my token on that's who i think it's gonna win but um who will probably win i think it's gonna go down to kidman or stewart Stuart. What did Mama say, Stuart? Uh, y'all, y'all watch my TV. <laughs> it's like it could go either way, cause like, again, they love, they love Stuart, they love Kidman. She's been there before. She's won before, you know. She's 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 been nominated before, and Stuart's never. Ugh, damn it! Now I'm always just seeing Stuart. <laughs> I will say. I will say. I think. Nicole Kidman's gonna win. No, I'm gonna say Kristen Stewart wins. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say they're gonna give it to Kristen Stewart. But I, I secretly feel like we're gonna put like a honey roll thing. That's gonna be Nicole Kidman. I personally, again, I want Jessica Chastain, but I feel like Kristen, with a very small chance of, uh, well, like a small big chance that it's gonna go to Nicole Kidman. <laughs> All right, we're coming down to the final two categories: best uh, uh, picture and musical comedy. Again, the first one I haven't seen, so uh, but I really haven't heard too much. Don't look up is very much divisive, and I really don't think it's gonna win. Uh, I think it's gonna go down to um, 
Licorice Pizza or West Side Story. Uh, I haven't seen Licorice Pizza either. Tick Tick Boom could possibly win as well, but I'm gonna put my token on a West Side Story because that's great. And I think, I think it could also win. But Licorice Pizza is like a fan favorite right now, um, so I think Licorice Pizza might win. Um, but I think, but could be West Side Story, but also could be Tick Tick Boom. Uh, but we're we're gonna see win could win licorice pizza my pick west side story all right last award of the night uh best uh, well maybe not the last word of the night but last category here you guys it would be best picture drama i'm putting all my coins on coda because i love that movie i'm so happy that it got nominated but who will win um coda could very well win but i don't think it's gonna win i think it's gonna go to belfast or dune dune was really good people really seem to love the power of the dog also came like they love all of these that's why they got nominated right but i feel like belfast will win i really do between belfast and the power of the dog i would definitely pick belfast dune is like freaking dune it's amazing but like it's not a full movie yet you know it's just part it's part one so there's still stuff missing, so I feel like that could be against it in a way. Yeah, I'm picking Coda. All my coins on Coda. I mean, I've been putting all my coins on everything. I have unlimited coins, okay? And then Belfast um, will possibly win. So obviously you guys will know before I know how I did uh, with my predictions. That is the video for today in my first official like 2022 video award season um, is officially upon us. And I do want to dedicate this video to Desiree's dog Morpheus. He passed away sadly today. Morpheus, he will be Miss a little Morph, tiny little dog. Yes, he is named after Morpheus from The Matrix. It's a little dog where like he needs a big name even though my parents changed it to Morphe, <laughs> but it is, it will always be Morpheus. He literally just turned four um, yesterday, well, four years with us yesterday. But yeah, that is the video for today. Um, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Until next time, see you guys at concessions. Bye.